When you don't do your job properly, it's not just your progress that slows down. You can inadvertently set back everyone else working in the same industry. This is precisely what's happening with Boeing. Time and again, Boeing has proven to be one of the less reliable players in the space industry, affecting not just its own timelines, but also those of its competitors. Recently, SpaceX was forced to delay one of their most important missions to the International Space Station because of ongoing issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Today, we're going to dive into the details of this delay, how it's impacting the broader space industry, and Musk's reaction to these developments. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates about the latest developments in the space industry. Boeing's Starliner has encountered numerous issues that have significantly impacted not only the company, but also SpaceX's missions and the overall schedule of the International Space Station. Initially, Crew-9 was supposed to launch on August 18, 2024, but due to the prolonged stay of Starliner at the International Space Station, the launch date has been pushed back to September 24, 2024. Starliner's technical issues, including helium leaks and thruster failures, have required extensive testing and troubleshooting by NASA and Boeing. These problems started shortly after the spacecraft docked with the International Space Station, and they have continued to cause delays. This is not the first problem Boeing has encountered with the Starliner. The spacecraft has been plagued by issues since its development began. In its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, a software glitch placed the spacecraft in the wrong orbit, preventing it from reaching the International Space Station. The second attempt was scrubbed due to a faulty fuel valve. Other problems, including issues with parachutes and the discovery of flammable tape within the spacecraft, have caused further delays. The current mission, Starliner's third attempt, has faced significant hurdles. The spacecraft was supposed to stay for just eight days, but has now been at the International Space Station for months longer than planned. The delays have had a significant financial impact. Boeing reported an additional $125 million in costs due to the necessary testing and troubleshooting. This situation has also created logistical challenges at the International Space Station. The U.S. segment of the station has only two docking ports for astronaut capsules, both of which are currently occupied, one by SpaceX's Crew Dragon and the other by Starliner. This bottleneck has prevented the Crew-9 mission from proceeding on schedule and has affected other planned missions and activities at the station. One option is to bring the Starliner astronauts back to Earth using a SpaceX vehicle and then send Starliner back uncrewed. The resources on the International Space Station are carefully allocated and managed, with supplies for food, oxygen, and other essentials calculated to support the astronauts. So, even if there were additional segments available, the mission still couldn't proceed due to the specific requirements of accommodating four astronauts. SpaceX's schedule has been directly affected, with additional costs related to mission's extended use of resources. SpaceX's Crew-9 mission is estimated to be worth around $200 million, covering everything from launch preparations to the operation of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. As a result of the delay, SpaceX is incurring significant losses, primarily because another company, Boeing, failed to address its technical issues on time. This situation highlights how Boeing's failures are not just a setback for themselves, but are slowing down the entire space industry. Many people are calling on NASA to cancel the Starliner project and reconsider awarding any future spacecraft missions to Boeing. The frustration stems from the ongoing delays and the substantial impact on other critical missions, underscoring the broader implications of Boeing's technical challenges on the space sector. Many experts believe that Boeing is already receiving special treatment from NASA. The company has been unable to launch this spacecraft without significant issues for more than a decade. If it were another company, NASA likely would have pulled its investment and canceled the program long ago. This special treatment is often attributed to Boeing's extensive lobbying efforts. Boeing has been one of the most well-funded companies under NASA's commercial crew program. 
the company received a $4.3 billion contract to develop and operate the Starliner, significantly more than the $2.6 billion awarded to SpaceX for its Crew Dragon development. Despite this higher funding, Boeing has struggled with repeated delays and technical problems, whereas SpaceX has successfully completed multiple crewed missions since its first crewed flight in May 2020. The influence of Boeing's lobbying efforts cannot be overstated. The company has spent millions annually on lobbying, with $6.24 million reported in 2024 alone. This has led to perceptions of favoritism and special treatment from NASA, especially given Boeing's ongoing issues with the Starliner program. Musk also has pointed out that Boeing's success in winning contracts despite its technical setbacks is largely due to its armies of lobbyists. This has raised concerns about the fairness and effectiveness of the contract awarding process, particularly in light of Boeing's track record with the Starliner. However, the recent issue with Starliner is so significant that even Boeing's extensive lobbying efforts may not be enough to save the program this time. The Starliner was initially expected to be fully operational by 2025, but given the current progress and ongoing technical challenges, it seems unlikely that Boeing will meet this deadline. Many experts are now skeptical that the spacecraft will even be ready by 2030. By then, SpaceX will likely dominate the commercial spaceflight industry, potentially pushing Boeing out of the game entirely. Most of us might think the problem with Boeing's Starliner is about reputation, but there is a bigger issue at hand. The Starliner program has been costing millions of dollars for every day of delay. The company has reported additional losses of $125 million, bringing the total losses on the Starliner program to $1.6 billion. It's also important to think about the long-term implications. The long-term losses might be even bigger, potentially reaching billions. Future customers will be very skeptical about the Starliner. Imagine a customer who wants to launch astronauts. Would they pick a company that failed to safely send and return astronauts? Or a company as reliable as SpaceX, which has consistently completed its mission successfully? Of course, they would pick SpaceX. Even Musk commented on this, saying, The world doesn't need another capsule. The Starliner program was part of NASA's commercial crew program, which was initially expected to be a cornerstone in the return of American crewed spaceflights. Boeing was awarded a substantial contract of $4.3 billion to develop and operate the Starliner. In contrast, SpaceX was awarded $2.6 billion for its crew Dragon development. Despite the higher funding, Boeing has faced more significant challenges and delays compared to SpaceX. The goal was to end NASA's reliance on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for International Space Station crew rotations. However, Boeing's journey has been rocky. Given the current situation, Boeing and NASA are exploring all possible options to safely return the astronauts. While the primary plan is to use the Starliner, contingency plans involving SpaceX's Crew Dragon have been considered. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has just returned to action after a two-week break due to a grounding caused by a failure, sparking optimism in the U.S. aerospace industry. However, the possibility of Dragon rescuing the Starliner crew presents a complicated scenario. The idea of using SpaceX's Crew Dragon to rescue the astronauts currently aboard the Starliner is not only a logistical challenge, but also a significant blow to Boeing's reputation. Boeing and SpaceX have been rivals since NASA awarded them contracts under the Commercial Crew program. SpaceX has successfully launched numerous missions since 2020, while Boeing has struggled with delays and technical issues. Relying on SpaceX for a rescue would be a further embarrassment for Boeing and a clear signal of their operational struggles. NASA has not officially ruled out the possibility of using Crew Dragon. Steve Stick, NASA's commercial crew program manager, stated that they are considering all options, emphasizing that having two different systems, Starliner and Dragon, gives them flexibility. On the other hand, given the geopolitical tensions, Seeking help from Russia's Soyuz spacecraft is an unlikely option. Although Soyuz has been a reliable vehicle for decades, the current political climate makes this an undesirable and complex alternative.
Additionally, the costs and logistics of coordinating with Roscosmos would add another layer of difficulty and potential delay. NASA's current preference remains to bring the astronauts back using Starliner, provided the issues can be resolved. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.